Hey guys, Zephyrus here, and uh, welcome to my Element Collection version 2.0. It's actually more of an update than anything else, because it's not a new collection. So it's an update. Whoops. It's been over six months since my last video on the collection. Although I've done numerous updates, I haven't actually showed the whole thing. So here we go, six months later, and it's grown quite a bit. I think it's almost doubled. Uh, it is 61 elements covered with 75 samples. I've actually got doubles, like the ones for gold and uh, tungsten there. I'll g get into those in a minute. But yeah, it's been quite a journey, and I'll hopefully keep expanding it. As you can see, there's quite a few. The black ones represent the ones I've collected. I blocked them out once I've got one. And uh, you can see there's considerable considerable progress there, but there's still ones that I don't yet have, so, you know, I'll continue until I have them, as you do. So here we go, let's start going through these. I'll start off with the alkali metals. You've got hydrogen at that back there, which actually glows in the dark. Uh, lithium there, I'm going to pivot it forward. Then you've got some magnesium and some salt kind of stands in for sodium. Some of them stand, uh, stand in for pure elements, whereas others are pure elements. Strontium, calcium, which is represented by calcium carbonate, which is chalk. Then you've got the pure ones down here, barium, lanthanum, cerium, some radium in there, Pro possibly my most radioactive sample, despite it only being tiny and hardly visible on camera. Then you've got praseodymium, the one I can never pronounce, Neodymium, some magnets, and then the, uh, some uranium glass, which is quite nice, under UV. Samarium, uh, europium oxide, which is also quite nice under UV. Gadolinium, and then my heaviest one, uh, americium-241. Uh, possibly one of my purest, because I extracted that myself. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. It's quite a lot heavier than uranium, which I'm quite proud of. Uh, then you've got erbium, ytterbium, another I can't really pronounce, uh, yttrium, then you've got pretty much all the top row, apart from the noble gas. So you've got scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium, manganese, iron, uh, cobalt, nickel, copper, zinc, gallium, germanium, not, no arsenic for some reason, uh, selenium, bromine, and the uh, one over there which is krypton. I'm actually really proud of my bromine sample. It's probably the one I'll show you now. Because not many people have the bromine. And it's quite weird. It's like a brownie uh, liquid that's quite a lot denser than water, so it flows slightly differently. Put that back there. So yeah, there we go. Uh, then you've got all the ones down here, which I don't think I've gone through. You've got uh, tantalum, tungsten there. I've got double samples on t uh, tungsten. You've got molybdenum, cube behind it. Then you've got platinum. Quite expensive, that's what I've only got a tiny bit. Copper, silver, gold. Got two samples of gold. Really nice. Uh, there we go, we've got uh, cadmium. Got a massive bar of cadmium, but I've only got a few sh shavings there. I've actually got, I've actually got the bar right here, so I'm gonna quickly go get that. I also got the mercury sample that was kind of off to the side for some reason. But yeah, massive bar of cadmium. It's all pure cadmium. It's quite flexible actually. I can bend it. It's quite weird because it looks like it shouldn't be bendable, but it is. Which is cool. Uh, next, let's see what else we've got. We've got the really heavy ones, like lead and bismuth. Up from that, indium, tin, nice antimony crystal that's really quite shiny. Zoom in on that. Then you've got uh, tellurium and iodine and what looks like xenon. There we go. Gone through that row. And behind it, this is the really cramped area near uh, gallium and copper and stuff. Behind it you've got uh, aluminium. I've got a massive disc over there but I store it over there. 
the silicon, phosphorus, which I extracted myself from match heads, uh, sulfur, sodium chloride, salt, standing in for chlorine, and no argon yet. Uh, then we've got neon, oxygen, nitrogen, which are both empty because they're in the atmosphere, carbon and boron. So yeah, those are the 75 samples that make up the 61 elements. Been collecting for about 7-8 months now. It's growing quite quickly, but I'll keep you guys updated. There's a link below to the playlist that contains my uh, element collection edition videos. That's what the ECA in them stands for, where I basically go through editions. You can also check out my uh, original one, uh, my element collection version 1.0. I'll also link that in the description. If you want to support me, you can like this video and share it with your friends, or you can subscribe, check out my other videos. Any of this stuff would be highly appreciated. So, you know, do that if you want. I'm not forcing you to, though. Uh, yeah, so, I've been Zephyrus, and thank you for watching.